Welcome! Today I would like to give you my preview of the Candidates Tournament. The Candidates Tournament will be the center of attention of the chess world in the next three weeks and we have the eight players on screen uh, who will compete. Each player will each play each player um, twice, so once with the white colors and once with the black colors. So there are a lot of games, 14, 14 rounds, and a lot of uh, opportunity to show who is the best uh, player. Who are the favorites? For me, the clear favorite of the tournament is uh, Fabiano Caruana. Uh, mainly because he has been at the top for a very long time, um, he has been consistent for a very long time, he has a great opening repertoire, uh, he has great uh, skills at calculating, uh, and I think after being absent from World Championship matches now for some time, he will be quite hungry to play another one. The second main favorite for me is uh, Ding Li Ren. Uh, Ding, I think, in terms of playing strength, is probably comparable to Fabiano. Um, but there are a few factors why I think Fabiano might be a little bit more likely to win, um, mainly because Ding has not faced the absolute top competition over the board in Classical uh, for some time. He has played a lot of games in China recently, um, but against slightly weaker opposition than what he will face uh, in the candidates. So it might take some time for him to adjust to that. And also he might be tired from this marathon that he played uh, with more than 30 games um, in a very, very short time span. Um, so for these two reasons, I see Fa Fabi as a slight favorite, but uh, it's almost a toss-up anyway. Uh, but for me, yeah, these two are the two main favorites, and I think the probability that one of them wins is uh, around 50%, maybe even slightly higher. Then um, I see uh, Ali Reza as uh, yeah, the third favorite much less predictable than the first two. Uh, so for him, it could also happen that he uh, ends on a minus score, which I think is very unlikely for Fabi and Ding. Um, but for Ali Reza, if he really picks up the speed and and um, picks up the form that he had when he reached 2800, uh, it's also possible that he, he could win the entire thing. Uh, similar um, considerations apply to Jan Krzysztof Duda, who won the World Cup and uh, in that procedure I beat uh, Magnus Carlsen, so um, he has very strong nerves for sure, and he's also on the rise and uh, recently yeah, just improved uh, over the last years by, by quite a bit. So I would see him in one category with uh, Ali Reza when it comes to winning probability. The next tier are players who possibly might win the tournament, but where I see the uh, probability as much lower than for the first four mentioned candidates. Uh, namely uh, Richard Rapport, Hikaru Nakamura and Jan Nepomniachi. Nepomniachi, uh, I think the main um, deterrent might be motivation, especially after losing this match to Magnus. Um, it, it's very hard to come back from that uh, psychologically. Uh, that said, he's uh, also a very, very strong player and probably not worse than, than uh, Duda or Firuja in terms of playing strength. But it will be interesting to see uh, how he manages to, to bounce back from the loss against Magnus. Then we have Hikaru. Um, very hard to predict how he will do in this tournament. He played great chess in the Grand Prix. Um, but also, of course, there the opposition was a tiny bit weaker than here. Um, I, I see a path for him to win the tournament, and it could could be uh, that maybe even one or two rounds before the end he's trading by a full point, and then suddenly uh, he goes all out and um, yeah just increases the risk by quite a bit. Um, and uh, because for him, I think it doesn't really matter if he finishes second or if he finishes sixth in this tournament, uh, he will definitely go uh, and play strategically, try to just maximize his chances of, of winning the whole thing. So that's definitely something that speaks for him. Um, the thing that speaks against him is that he didn't play that much classical chess over the board apart from the Grand Prix over the last couple of years because he focused mainly on his streaming. Um, then we have uh, Richard Rapport, whom I also see in the same group as Hikaru and, and Jan. Richard Rapport uh, is for me the most entertaining player of the entire field. And uh, if I had to pick somebody who I would like to win the tournament, it would be Richard Rapport. Um, because of his, his entertaining playing style, and I think uh, even Magnus would be very tempted to accept and play a match against, uh, against Richard, because uh, the positions he would get are probably much more unusual than against some of the other potential opponents. That said, uh, in the past, his risky playing style has sometimes backfired, especially against the elite, and uh, one problem might be that he might lose a game here or there, which makes it, to me at least, less likely that he will win the entire thing. And then in the last group, I see uh, Timur Rajabov. 
mainly again due to his playing style. His playing style is extremely solid, so I think he's not the favorite to finish at the bottom of the tournament, but uh, I think he has the lowest probability of winning the entire event, um, mainly because his repertoire with white uh, is often not super aggressive, um, meaning that there might be some quick draws with white and then um, in the end he might produce a lot of draws and uh, it makes it very, very difficult for him to uh, to win the tournament. Well, um, that is my prediction. To wrap up, I see uh, Fabiano and Ding uh, together with a winning probability of slightly above 50%, with Fabiano being the main favorite. Um, then I see a group of Ali Reza and Jan Shishtof Duda, where in both cases uh, it is possible that they will end up with a minus score, but I think they have a very aggressive playing style, so they might also end up uh, scoring something like plus four in the end, which would probably be enough to, to win the whole thing. Then I have a group where I personally think it's less likely that they will win uh, the entire tournament, comprised of Yannick Pomniachi, Hikaru Nakamura and Richard Rapport. Um, I think for all of them there is a path, but a lot of things have to come together. And finally, I see Tomorrow Jabov, where I would be really surprised if he wins the tournament, mainly because uh, yeah, so the, the um, amount of drawn games that he plays is probably higher than for uh, most of the other players. So that's my preview. Um, and I hope you will enjoy watching the tournament and may the best man win. <laughs>